Go, turret. Yeah. Yeah. I might not have any friends, but I have my trusted turret. My trust. <laughs> my trusty turret. Mr. Turret. All right, what's going on everyone? I am going to be playing some superior early access today. This is just gonna be some raw footage gameplay. So I'll probably cut out some of the waiting periods and whatever, but if you just wanna see natural responses to this game and um, me just doing some playthroughs, then stay tuned. Let's get started. I think maybe we're just gonna to go to matchmaking and then we're gonna see if some people can hear me and if we can talk with them. <laughs> Enter shrieking sound. So I wanna pick my Ronin character, I think. I do, I did play this game a little bit in earlier access when they had some of the early alphas and betas. Um, gotta say, I like the gameplay overall, like the art style, very cellular kind of shaded, but also like very high res detailed as well. It's kind of like, like if you look at the specific lights in the background right there above the tables, it's very, very interesting. I'm not quite sure if that's ray tracing or not. I'd have to look at the settings. I really, probably not, but it's just really good lighting effects. Um, Ronin definitely is my favorite character. He's a bruiser, his overshield abilities, and he has some good melee, I believe. He's kind of an up close and personal character as they describe him. Um, they do have sharpshooter classes and trickster classes, which I'm sure are cool. Uh, the character designs, uh, this one's kind of goofy. I, I, so I'm not super into Murmur. I, you know, I'm not trying to be a hater, man. It's just, uh, I'm not quite sure if she was attacked by a tiger or what with those scars. <laughs> And uh, Nomad, Nomad's pretty cool with the laser eye. But again, I think that they really would do well with some more character classes added here. But it's early access, so this is what we get. ETA, 70 more seconds. Luckily, I'm cutting this footage out for you. Hopefully, if I remember, <laughs> wink, wink. Shit. It's not as quick as Call of Duty matchmaking, but you know, we'll, we'll get there. It's an early access. Not a lot of people are playing it yet, so makes sense. We are in a lobby by ourselves. Yay! I thought I clicked matchmaking. Why am I alone? So lonely. Back for another visit. Oh, bartender. Can I get a Jack and Coke? Just kidding. Some Jameson and Ginger. Stat. I also adjusted my keys settings, changed around a bunch of different stuff. I think it's going to be to my liking. And I'm playing with controller too, because I'm a noob. <laughs> Dude, I love playing games with controllers, especially like this. Uh, let's see. Hold melee to deal 87 damage and launch burning explosive fireballs. Your basic attack causes burn. That sounds pretty nice. Transform into fire form and speed forward. Fire dash. Ice path dash. You know what? I want to like freeze shit, I think. So let's go with that. Uh, freeze dash. Okay. I think we clicked it. There we go. Sorry, guys. I'm uh, remembering how to play. Choose destination traveling in 13 seconds. 10 seconds. Alpha Earth, Beta Earth, and Omega Earth. I feel like I'm in a fraternity house. Phasing in. That's neat. This game's really improved since I've last seen it. Probably about six or so months ago. Go kill them and take it. Alright, so and if you haven't caught on, the main premise of this game is that the superheroes aren't so uh, super anymore. They were all using uh, some juice. You know, some, some bad juice. Some like, you know, essentially steroids that um, turn them into monsters. So now, you know, you have like Superman and shit turning into a, a grotesque obese monster and here's all their uh, I'm guessing these are civilians <laughs> these are poor poor townsfolk that got turned so there's that little ice dash right there oh my god Jesus fucking <laughs> dude alright I'm not that bad I'm not that bad hold on redo Run it back. Run it back, as the kids say. Let's run it back. My god. Let's see if we can actually get a teammate this time. And I'll try not to walk straight into a mob. Mmm, Jesus. I sit here and play like Grandmasters and Top 500 in Overwatch, and I'm over here just getting slayed. That's hilarious. Alright, round two. 
begin. Dun 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 dun. Mortal Kombat. Please don't take down this video for me singing, cause it's so fucking bad. Can you do anything over here? What are these? Ooh, you snack machine. What's going on here? Okay, cool. So we got little oh food buffs. We're definitely gonna need to get some food here. Change the music. All right, that's better. I feel like I'm in a German nightclub. All right. So we're, we're look. We're gonna stick. We'll do fire dash this time, guys. It's fine for the content. Okay. There's no need to worry about the long-term effects of juice injection as your death is all but certain. Yeah, juicing and injecting juice. It's good for you. Clearly. So I wonder if he set up automated turrets. So don't let those kill. Dude, you. holy shit, there's a lot of guys. He uh, there's automated turrets too, like you said. Um but yeah, they're talking about long-term juice injection. And again, I haven't played too much of this, but I wonder speculate do you you know stare into the abyss so long that you become the villain do you become an you know a monster or something at the end of the game i don't know i mean this is a roguelite so you really just kind of like fight round around and then you take some passive abilities with you that you gain from one round of play to the next round of play thus increasing your survivability and letting you go further and deeper into the game that's not what she said but it is you know part of being a roguelite type of game so um, I don't know if you'll ever, you know, have an ending, quote-unquote, but I wonder if, like, the story kind of leads up to you becoming a monster or something. That'd be pretty cool. Granted, I mean, you, you become kind of more of a monster by your abilities, right? It's not exactly human, per se. Fire dashing. Unless you're the human torch. Bada-bing! What's this? Armor? Okay, don't need that. Imagine these turrets are not my friends. Woo, I like that. I'll aim someday. Oh, come on. Oh. Come on, hit scan that hit. Let's go. Hit detection. Blaming blaming the game, not myself. Duh. It's a lot of fire dashing right now. I think it's only gonna cool down when I hit with it. Oh, okay, I can fucking break. Excuse my language, but come on. Okay, there we go. Oh, okay, good. Yeah, this is also a gory game, so if you have children around, you don't want them to see it. Uh, sorry, kids. Now you might be wondering what is the play to earn model with this game. I'm gonna have to do a follow up video on that. Um, I don't believe all the details are released, but like most play to earn models, when you have an NFT for the game and I have like a golden gun skin, for example, and it's just a skin, it doesn't give me like bonus stats or abilities or anything like that. But since I have that, that gives me an ability to passively earn while it's equipped in game. Now, how much you earn usually depends on like one factor, one variable, how much you're playing, how successful you are. Um, time, you know, time spent playing and success, right? Skill, if you will, to a degree, but I think it's mostly around time. Um, and second of all, it's rarity of these NFTs. So the NFT that you have could be like a common, which is kind of just like a gray basic tier NFT. Um, and then they kind of go up to, you know, green, where it's uncommon, rare is blue, this is all in the Galley Games ecosystem. Uh, purple, I believe, is legendary, or no, purple is epic. Orange is legendary, and then ancient is like this weird kind of like orange-white icon kind of thing. But, that allows you to earn more and more depending on the rarity of the NFT. Now, those usually cost more and more and what, uh, whatnot, but... 
Um, I, you know, I think if they find the right balance between like, hey, you spend a lot of time, you play in these certain events or tournaments or something, you maybe win a rare, you know, not a rare NFT, but maybe like an epic or a legendary, I think that's what you do. You know, I think that's how you make it more of a, I don't know, how do I kill this thing? I'm about to die. I need to focus. These turrets are eating me alive. Ah, uh, this one's gonna start eating me. Yeah. Shit. You were killed by a turret. So, I'm not sure. It said there's a power source there. I was trying to kind of shoot at it or interact with it, but clearly that was not the right option. Go me. But yeah, you'll be earning with these different NFTs, these different rarities. So, time spent and then rarity of NFT you own. And typically, if you're buying them from like the Gala Game Store, etc., the more rare they are, uh, the more expensive they are. So, you know, it's kind of one of those perspectives of do you want to spend X amount of dollars in hopes that you eventually gain that back and then you're earning a lot? Uh, you can look at it as an investment standpoint. You can also just look at it as a supporting the game kind of standpoint. I do think the cost of all NFTs are going to go down in the long term, but that's going to be for another video. Um, and that's not to say that the current ones are all going to go down or they're going to gradually go down. What I mean is as we get more mass adoption with NFTs in video games, blockchain gaming, I think the entry level is going to be more accessible. And that's important because, you know, not everyone has a hundred bucks to throw it up, quote unquote, free to play game and then go in there and earn. Alternatively though, all these games, you don't have to have an NFT to play. They are free to play. So if you just want to sit here and enjoy the game, just like old school, traditional gaming, you know, um, NFTs are not owning them, you can. So it's really just a win, a win-win situation. It's as much as you want to spend in it to earn, you know, X amount of coins, X amount of whatever cryptocurrency it is that's associated with the game. Uh, to get out of it, you can spend more and earn more per day while you're playing. And some people will be able to make a living doing that for sure, especially in the higher rarities. And then some people will also just be able to like play a game they really enjoy and maybe pay a utility bill, which is really important. All right. So I like to fire jump a lot. So let's fire jump. My favorite powers are the ones that make them explode into little bits. Yeah, me too. I think there's something wrong with me. No, you're fine. <laughs> we're, we're fine. Okay. We will win. I believe we can win. I believe we can win. There's a large group of bad guys up ahead. They must be guarding something good. So, we'll kill them and take whatever it is. Oh, that's cool little I like float and shit. That's This is awesome. Can aim. Holy shit, there's a lot of guys. I don't think they know I'm behind them. Ooh! Man, they just smoked me quite a bit. It's an explosive barrel if I can leave them around it and shoot that. Oh, if I had the skills. Oh, come on, this fucking confetti. <laughs> Give me a break. Get this, whatever this is, I need it. I need a stat boost. Um, I will say, just like, maybe there's a way to tap and just pick up. I think tap and pick up should be a thing. I think holding shit down just to pick something up is a little archaic. When it comes to like fast paced shooters or you know, just things that have a lot of shit going on. I really, really cannot aim at times. I also want to see input dead zones on controller for sure. That was close. Yeah, I thought it died. It needs some fucking armor, dude. Maybe some health regen or something? I don't know. Just a base health? I'm sure it's a little perk I can pick up. I just need to find it. Some health boost for you. Yeah, also, guys, if you ever just want to get together and play some of these games and bullshit, um, and you follow or whatever, or you're just interested and you're on a different channel, let me know. You know, I'm pretty chill and stuff. I don't, don't really have an ego. Just like to play some games and have some downtime. 
when life is crazy because the world is pretty wild. Get bag of cred, get shotgun damage kit. I don't have a shotgun, I don't know why I took that. <laughs> Fuck me, man. Alright, uh. Also, I have to figure out, like, how to get my office not to be so fucking hot, because I feel like I'm dying of fucking heat stroke in here. Okay. Excuse my language, but I have the mouth of a sailor for a reason. I'm really liking this little fire jump, though. I didn't think I was going to like it. I think I like it almost more than the dash right now. Just for kind of just getting some verticality here on my... Opposition. It's not bad. It's not bad at all. Let's go, bitch! That poor bastard, he's just like, well, I'm just having a good day. It's a Friday. And, oh my fucking god, what in the hell is this flying guy on fire? Holy shit! Get burn boost kit. Turret. Okay, so yeah, that takes up a weapon slot too. Like it used to. I don't know. Actually, guys, I think this is a green peacemaker. I think this pistol is going to be better. It is a higher laity. 9 to 5 crypto. I just realized my name is on top right. But yeah, I could use some input dead zones. I mean, it's not bad. It's like actually, it's pretty tight for turning. And if you don't know what I mean by input dead zone, I just mean like the radius if you will or distance that I have to like push the joystick to get a uh, reaction in game to aim and move so if you tighten the dead zone to make it smaller you have to push the joystick a lot less to aim uh, which is good and bad you know if you get joystick uh, drift but it's good overall in my opinion because it allows you to be more precise on a controller with aiming Elsewise, if it's like a big gap, you have to push joystick a bunch, then you feel like you're like, you're aiming like this, instead of like this. It's probably just like, dude, this guy talks so much, I'm sorry. I'm trying to learn how to play games in front of people on video. <laughs> so, <laughs> forgive me. Um, definitely need some ammo. Go, turret! Yeah! Yeah, I might not have any friends, but I have my trusted turret, my trust, <laughs> my trusty turret, Mr. Turret. And also, maybe if you don't have like look, well, I guess you don't have to like look directly at it. Ammo does pick up when you walk through it, so it's nice. Fucking hate games where you have to like click and pick up ammo. It's straight, straight up not good. I was gonna use more bad words, but I'm trying to watch myself. Also, it sneaks. So, what is this shit? Mm. Guys, I think I need to look through here real quick before proceeding, but it looks like we survived this level. Knock on wood. Don't fall into the laser shit that's going on here, because that will fucking kill me. Watch my new bass walk straight into it. <clears throat> I think I can go. Go, go, go. Alright, um... Don't really see too much health around here. Yell at me if you see it down in the comment section below. Eventually we will be live streaming, so if you're watching this long, just a heads up. Uh, let me know if you want to see some more live streaming, but I think we're going to do that once we hit probably about 300, 500 subs. Uh, not encouraging people to sub, do whatever the hell you want. Peruge, it's your life, live it. But, um, yeah, just so... You know, because only a small fraction of people can be on during live streams to watch. And I don't want to talk to myself. I want to talk to you lovely ladies and gents.
Oh yeah, this hits, this hits hard. Oh, hard AF, okay. Alright. Hard AF. Melee attacks against the same target deal additional 10% damage stacks up to 5 times. Mm. That seems pretty useful. You just melee the shit out of self, but at the same time I don't want to like... Take a lot of damage. Because my guy is like fucking hurt. Can't afford guns besides this. Commander's pistol. Looks like it's a gray weapon. I don't think I want it. Mm. Where's the health thing? I think there was a health thing. Somewhere. I thought there was a station that I could buy health at. Is this it? <clears throat> See, this is why I need a live stream so you guys can yell at me and say, Bro, you walked past it six fucking times. Forgive me. I'm a mere peasant. Here it is, I think. Yes. That's some costly health. It's pretty expensive, you know. Yeah. Alright, so we get another ability here. Hothead killing an enemy with a crit causes a 115 burning explosion. While transform, your power damage is increased by 10% every second to a max of 50%. Hmm. <clears throat> I don't know if that's during my transform ability, maybe that's what that is, or it's during my jump, maybe it includes too, I'm not sure. I think we'll use this though. We could use every perk to amplify our damage and stuff. Okay. I would also like something that like amplifies my fucking defense. Yo. Okay, my guy just like said, I'm ready to go. Follow that smell to your objective. It's a dead guy. A dead superhero. Oh my god. Joe Scott. Oh Joe. Whatever the saying is. That classifies as transform. That's what I was wondering. Anyway. So count. That guy's gonna blow up. Ooh. Almost died. I'm just getting started. I'm just getting started. Let's go. I was born to be a voice actor. I'm just getting started, let's go, boys. Alright. <laughs> Alright, um, bag of cred. Auto damage kit. Huh. Get damage boost kit. 5% damage scale, okay. That makes sense. Let's do that. And you know what? We need credits. Gain 30 plus credits, that's good. Okay, then we can get some more abilities here. And that's a nine of money, honey. I can fly like an eagle. Let my spirit carry me. Alright. <clears throat> Shit, I just used. Didn't need ammo. My bad. I feel like I need to mess with the light settings. I kind of. I don't know how I feel about it. Over here, dumbasses! I mean, melee, you at least kind of stun them and shit, so they don't, like, hit you while you're hitting them. So, one-on-one -on -one melee works really good. They're not even trying. Gain a reroll of your abilities works for the Juice Ejector Weapon Depot and... Gain plus 15% damage for automatic weapons. I don't have an automatic weapon right now, but I'm sure I could find one. And I don't care about rerolling right this second, so... Right. 
so the world is so I mean it you know it's again it's a different art style but it's very detailed it makes me want to like look at it and like interact with it and shit makes sense I also play like a lot of looter shooters so I'm always like looking for shit to pick up maybe too much let's go how am I? Is there a map? Okay. <clears throat> I think I need to use this turret more. There's your dead super. Now that is a clean Whoever did this has cut a lot of it. Yes, sir. Get off my turret. What do you do to you? Look right at slew shit. Oh, leave, leave Mr. Turi alone. <clears throat> but yeah, guys, I mean, if you're into, like, blockchain games and shit, like... This is a fun one. Yeah, like, like some people like say like, you know, some people are like, there's nothing comparable coming out other than Gala Games games, and I think they're doing a great job. But then there's the polar opposite to that. They're really like, I'm not impressed with Gala Games as. It's just like, okay, let's get a little bit more in the middle. There are games in development for one. These are early access, so they're not all gonna be fucking amazing off the gate. But I do think that Superior is one of their better games, and it's like really coming along really well. And the gameplay is responsive, interesting, <clears throat> likely more fr fun with friends. But um, you know, it's not it's not bad at all. I mean, this feel, and I don't feel like I'm playing some like compromised game. That's the thing. It's a key thing. I'm not paying I'm not playing a game that's compromised because of blockchain. I'm playing a fucking game that has, you know, blockchain elements in it. And that's been Gala Games entire mission is not just to build games that are just like blockchain related, crypto related, <clears throat> but have that be part of its ecosystem. You know, build the game first and then have the blockchain aspect be part of it rather than build the, you know, you know what I'm trying to fucking say. They're just focused on the game part of it first. Make the game fun to play. Make games you actually want to play. That was like their slogan for a while. That's what got me first into Gala Games back like late 2020. And that's why I bought a node way back when. That's why I'm interested in this. We got the juice, boys! Level 3. We've become masters at this shit. GG, too easy. <laughs> Just kidding, I'm not that much of a douche. Alright, um... Hello, Mr. Robot. Upgrade station. We actually got some money here, guys. We got 96 freaking coins. Your turrets have a 30% chance to spawn an armor pickup. That is legit. I have turret. Ooh, but you move 20% faster, that's tempting. I feel like I fucking move slow. 7% extra damage. Alright. Oh, okay, we can get two. Great, that's great. Alright, um... Unique power family you have. I'm not quite sure. Um, move faster, I think in general, just to get the fuck away from these goons. These goons are after me. But hey, look, we got good health. We're maxed out in health and armor right now. That's what's up. Okay. Kindle. When a burning enemy dies, nearby burning enemies take 15 damage. I think we'll do that. I mean, I just gotta jump more right near them, set them on fire. It's my burn build. I'm on fire! Beam me up, Scotty! Alright, so I think we're gonna get to the first boss and I'll probably... Maybe this is a thorn in a tiger's 
paw kind of thing, and backbone will be nice after you pop all his zits. Oh, this son of a bitch. Backbone. He's beat me once before. Time for this mother trucker to fucking take his pain. <laughs> I just cussed right after <clears throat> changing a statement to mother trucker. That's me. That's me in a nutshell, folks. Enjoy it. Stick around if you don't. Enjoy something else. It's your life to live. Alright, so we'll see if we can get this done. It's time for some vengeance. Yeah, you son of a bitch. Yeah, you think you're tough just because you beat up on a car. It can't help itself. Alright guys, I'm soloing a boss. I'm gonna put this on a YouTube short become famous overnight. Millions of people will tune in. Oh my god, he, he soloed a boss. I feel like that's like every video today. <laughs> okay, I'm not like doing a shit though. I need to pop his hits, obviously. Oh, fuck me, my armor. It's gone. It's because I had an itch on my face. I think you're good, bro. Okay. I'm gonna set up my turret right here. There you go, turret. Do some work. Light his ass up. Oh, yeah. He's he's taking it. I mean, I'm spreading my shots a little. Not super precise, but I'm hitting some of his little zits. So you gotta do pop his fucking zits first. There we are. Goodbye. Woo! He's not a okay. There we go. There's a there's a little schema change in his movement pattern. So I was gonna say, I mean, he's not doing anything too crazy. This is not like a uh, Elden Ring boss. Can I lay down multiple turrets now? I only one. I need ammo. I think I'm good. Pick it up quick. Leave Mr. Turret alone. Okay, really? He gets like one Z on his arm. There we go. There we go. Whoop his ass. No, oh, no, 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 no. Is he gonna regenerate? Oh, fuck me. <laughs> Damn it. Shit. I knew that was too easy. I was feeling too good about myself. I was like, yeah, look at me. I'm good, man. <laughs> Clearly. I think that was way too easy. Here's all the minions. Where do you jump? <clears throat> it is kind of hard to see him. I might have to adjust the graphic settings, but it kind of blends in with the walls and shit. I don't know if he's meant to be that much of a chameleon here. Might just be the level and him just, you know, similar color scheme. Maybe I'm just colorblind, it's possible. I mean, I can clearly see him, but, you know, man, it's kind of harder to see him with the backdrop here. Backbone, put that fucking rock down, son. Don't be hurting my turret. Leave him alone. He's doing nothing but slowly killing you. <laughs> this guy is just like a... <laughs> <laughs> He's just like the Hulk, but just like more stupid. Oh, let's go. Backbone, you've been slayed. 1v1, brah. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, that is a wrap. We just beat Backbone, the first boss in Superior. So uh, I would love to know what you think about this game down in the comment section below. Do you like the art style? Do you think it's good? Do you like the abilities that you're seeing? Do you need to see more variants? Well, usually as games go on, we see more variants. But uh, I would like to see... Probably a couple more movement patterns and things to make Backbone a little bit more formidable. Maybe more uh, AOE on the ground kind of things that are like spikes coming out of the ground or something when he does it. Like not just right where he lands, but also like in a couple other areas as he becomes damaged. Like he gets stronger, so to speak. But let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. If you'd like to see these in a live stream format, stay tuned because they will eventually go to a live stream format where we can just bullshit and play games together. If you want to join me and play some games and bullshit and uh, just be a part of the community, feel free, send me a message. Uh, but until next time, guys, like I always like to say, coffee's on me. Peace.
Yes, I know I'm a kind of a goofy idiot and this says dog mom on it. And I'm not a dog mom, but you know what? It was the clean coffee cup, guys. Don't judge. Don't judge. Peace.